Please welcome competent communicator, Jim Gaglio. Fellow Toastmasters, do you remember when you were young in the neighborhood and used to have pickup games for basketball, football, baseball? I do. And there were big kids, little kids, and the kids that couldn't play at all. And the way you'd divvy it up is you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, and then you'd play. It was great memories, lots of fun, but was it fair? Probably not, because there was always somebody loading their team. <laughs> Let's fast forward. University of Florida plays Citadel last year. They win 70 to 19. 2,000 students at Citadel, 60,000 students at University of Florida. Was it fair? Was it even fun? Probably not. For either team. If you're a tennis player, can you get on the court with Andre Agassi? I could walk. <laughs> <laughs> Would he enjoy it? Is it fair? Is it fun? No. Could you get in the pool with Mark Spitz and compete? Golf is different. Golf provides a system called the handicap system that lets all skill levels play together at the same time, make it fair, and make it fun. I want you to dream with me just for a couple minutes right now. Just dream with me. It's one of those days like today, 70 degrees, sunny, just a zephyr of air out there. It took 20 years to get an invitation play Islesworth Country Club. My two buddies and I are on the putting green. We're about 10 minutes away from our tea time. And the pro walks out and he goes, hey fellas, I've got a club member over there on the tee, practice tee, and he's looking for a game. Would you mind if he joined you? And we looked at each other and we said, no, it'd be great. We haven't played the course before. It'd be great to have a member. He said, okay. I'll let him know. He turns around and he walks back to the pro shop and then he spins around and he looks at me and he says, by the way, he's pretty good, so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so we make our way to the tee and we're getting ready to tee up. We're waiting for this member and around the hedge walks Tiger Wood. He walks up the <laughs> He shakes hands with that big smile. We're like deer in the headlights. <laughs> we got eyes like saucers. My palms start to sweat. So we throw the tee down on the ground. I'm first, Tiger's third. I put the tee in the ground. I'm getting ready to tee off. And Tiger goes, hey, let's make things interesting and have a little bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at my buddies and I go, Sure, why not? <laughs> so he said, $2 Nassau. I said, okay, let's do it. $2 Nassau. So how do you do that? How do you play golf with the number one golfer in the world? Well, in golf, there's a handicap system. And if you play 10 rounds of golf, you have a handicap. That handicap is pegged off of par, par 72. Tiger Woods has a plus 10 handicap. That means he's 10 strokes better than par on average. I have a seven handicap. That means I'm seven strokes above par on average. So when I play Tiger Woods, the difference between his handicap and my handicap is 17 strokes. Every card is set up to help you and to help every golfer play fair and fun golf. If you'll notice, it says men is handicapped. Each hole has a difficulty factor already assigned to it. 
In Tiger Woods' case, he's going to give me 17 strokes. And therefore, on the first hardest hole, I get a stroke. And I get a stroke on every other hole except the 18th hardest hole, because I only get 17 strokes. Now, if I'm playing someone that's a 9 handicap, and I'm a 7 handicap, that person gets two strokes from me. They get a stroke on the first handicap hole, and they get a stroke on the second handicap hole. The rest of the holes we play even. So we finish this four hours watching these booming drives, talking about things that didn't even know existed on the PGA Tour. We finished that round. It was just a marvelous day. We get in, and we say to ourselves, I can't believe it when we played with Tiger Woods. And was it fair? You betcha. And was it fun? By golly, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Fellow Toastmasters. Oh, yeah.